is John O'Mara. I'm a, uh, an assistant professor of physics here at St. Michael's College. Cosmology attempts to answer two questions. The first question is, what is the universe made out of? The second question is, how does that change with time? And that's it. My particular niche in, in cosmology is to try to figure out how galaxies form. A galaxy is a collection of stars. It's just a crude term for a collection of stars which are bound together by gravity. So the best example for that is our galaxy, the Milky Way. We have to look very far back and try to figure out what was happening with galaxies when they were very young. So how do we look back in time? Light has a finite speed. It, light doesn't go from one point to another infinitely fast. If the nearest star to us, other than the sun, blew up, we wouldn't know for four years. So when we take a telescope and we point it at that star, we're seeing that star as it was four years ago. We need to look at objects which are farther and farther and farther away because that's looking farther and farther back in time. So what we really want to do is look at galaxies which are billions of light years away. Because by looking at those galaxies, we can understand what our galaxy was like billions and billions of years ago. And the way that I do that is through a tool called spectroscopy. Spectroscopy is basically what happens when you take light and break it up into its constituent color. Light comes in, it's white light, hits the prism, gets spread out, becomes all the different colors of the rainbow. The sun, the earth, all of the interstellar material, all the gas and dust that goes into forming stars, all that is atoms. And atoms emit and absorb light. And that's how we see stars and, and planets and all these things. Say hydrogen the most common atom in the universe. Hydrogen makes light at only very specific colors. So if you were to take the light from a star that was made entirely out of hydrogen and pass it through a prism, you wouldn't see a rainbow of colors. You'd see a bright bit here at red, bright bit at green, and a couple of bright bits at blue. So what we do with these galaxies, because they're so far away and oftentimes too faint to be seen in emission of light, is we play the trick of putting a very, very bright source behind them. So imagine you're in a swimming pool. You're sitting there in the swimming pool and you look at the end of the swimming pool is a light. And then somebody spills a cup of coffee. The color of the light is going to change because of the coffee now in the water. Well, if we replace light at the end of the swimming pool with a bright object called a quasar, maybe 10, 12 billion light years away, and we replace the coffee with our galaxies that we're looking for, what will happen is that the light from the quasar will be affected by the atoms of the gas in the galaxy. So that's spectroscopy. Using these very, very distant background sources, by looking at the colors that we get from an object, we can figure out what that object's made out of, even though we can't see them in emission from the telescopes.